Hey everyone, I'm here with John Roberts. He just won his top eight match. You're in the top four. You're going to Hawaii. How does it feel? Right. It feels absolutely amazing. Uh, that's what I came here for, and I didn't want anything less. So I'm really happy right now. Like I even cried about it. So <laughs> that's great. I love yes. to see emotions. So um, you actually have an interesting story. Like, uh, tell us about your history with the game. Um. It dates all the way back in uh, 99, when the game first uh, came out. It was like, I think it was 98, 99, somewhere around there. And uh, I started playing, you know, getting cards from base set, Jungle Fossil, all the way up until like the Neo Desi set. Yeah. But I never actually played competitively ever, mm -hmm. uh, so I was actually pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, one day my cards just got stolen, so I just quit Pokemon and then picked it back up. Uh, it was uh, last year in August, so... Um, since then, I got. Uh, I actually started playing Kling Kling Scizor. And uh, what happened uh, with that is uh, I got two uh, third place finishes at Battle Roads. And uh, then went on to regionals. I didn't do too well there. Uh, I went five and three. But uh, played in uh, a couple cities, didn't do so well. I played at Electro with Rebellion and uh, Scizor. That didn't work so well. Uh, but then uh, uh, States came, played Raichu Hills, and uh, I went 4-3. <laughs> so uh, up to that point, it wasn't so great? But. Yeah, well, it wasn't, like, yeah, like, I had a really bad run for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm really going to, I'm going to start taking this game seriously and, uh, you know, actually try to compete. So I, I quit with the fun decks and actually built something that was really innovative. Uh, it, was, it was something like meta, but, you know, with, you know, something to it. Uh, it was CMT with uh, Kiram, Glaciating, and uh, ended up getting top four regional. Uh, and then uh, today, well, this whole event, I played uh, Clean Clean. Made that, uh, started that uh, back, it was early March. It was like late February or early March. And I saw uh, Dark Rush um, come, came out in Japan. And I saw Dark Rock EX, and I'm like, I love clean playing. I love, um, you know, moving energies around and everything. Why not have something that has free retreat with it? Yeah. And, you know, have multiple EX attackers with Prism, Rainbow, and, you know, throw in a few medals. Uh, at first I ran a special medal, but then I, it kept getting lost in move it. So, uh, you know, to combat that, you know, turn one, attach a regular metal energy. Uh, but, like, over testing, it just didn't work so well at all. So I changed the deck up almost completely. Even though I did win a Battle Roads with it, but uh, I couldn't do like pretty much anything after that. Everybody started taking lots of Brewers. Right. So to um, combat that, you know, I, I threw in three, three regular metal energies, a Cabalion, and a Shaman EX. And Shaman EX and Cabalion were really good this this event. Like they came in the key spots. Like it it killed a Mewtwo with six energy on it, uh, with it with just two energies on it. You know, that, I just want those, you know, those two energy attackers, and that, that's what really helped out. Uh, so. Great. So, does it mean more to you that you won with kind of your own deck? I mean, you built the Kling Kling deck. Oh, You're kind of the yeah. founder of the deck. Does it mean more to you that you top four with your own that, deck? That, that's one reason why I'm so happy and that, you know, I, I, I cried for the past 15 minutes. Because not only did I get top four, but it was with my own deck. Yeah. Uh, like, I just really can't believe it. Yeah, like, it's incredible. really unbelievable right now. <laughs> All right, so uh, you said you just started playing in August. So uh, I know you played Yu-Gi-Oh before. What made you switch over to Pokemon? Um, the players and the game itself. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is just really just nothing but luck based and uh, and all about who has more money. Uh, I mean, it's still a good game, but uh, I, I definitely prefer Pokemon because uh, the, the players are absolutely amazing. The judges are absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, you know, and of course, you know, we, we, have, we have you guys, the top cut. You know, <laughs> making it even better. So, um, and you know, the good thing about it is that, like, never find anybody in Pokemon that you know steals, yeah. you know, or, or you know cheats. You know, the, you know, of course, there's you know a few exceptions, but um, in Yu-Gi-Oh, I've had four decks stolen. I used to play uh, X Sabers, and it got stolen four times. Wow. Um, All together, about three thousand dollars worth of cards. Uh, terrible. And switch over to Pokemon. Never got anything stolen ever. Yeah. You know, like at the last regional, five decks were lost, um, and then they're they all returned, which was really amazing. I'm like, wow, 
I really love this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my, it wasn't my day that got, got stolen. I mean, I mean, got lost, but. You know, um, it's just the fact that, you know, like, I love when the people do good. You know, I try to do good for everybody as well. So it really makes me happy, and that's one of the reasons I like Pokemon a lot better than Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, well, we're glad to have you be a part of our community now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, you're in the top four. you got a fully paid trip to Hawaii. Are you happy with that, or are you aiming to be the national champion? Uh, I'm, I'm aiming to be champion. Yeah. Um, uh, I came here, um, like, a few days ago. Uh, you know, I, I pray to God. I'm, I'm like, I really want to win this. Like, I, I so want to win this. I, I want it, like, more than anything right now. Uh, I mean, at least get, you know, get the Hawaii, you know, get that top four. Um, but, you know, if, if I can get that, you know, like, I would like to win it all. I, I really would. And uh, so far, he's answered my prayers. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not up at the finals yet, but th this is, Close. you know, this is enough right here. Anything else after this would be a plus. So, I'm really happy. Well, you definitely got a really good shot. I mean, the last match you played was just a complete blowout. It wasn't even close. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the second game, he didn't even take a prize. So yeah. um, he, he did start really bad, though. He did. Yeah. Right? We won't talk about that. You yeah. just beat him, all right? Yeah. Um, but uh, is there anybody you want to thank? Anybody you want to say hi to? Like, first and foremost, I want to thank Guy, for, for sure. Uh, yeah, without him, I wouldn't be here right now. And uh, one want to thank my wife, Jennifer, and uh, the whole entire, like, Yeti crew, Vince Greckler, Zach Greckler, Andrew, um, and, uh, like, everybody else. Um, I've had so many play session, uh, sessions with, uh, with Zach. Yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a great player. He's, he's really good. Um, yeah, he's hoping to get an uh, invite to Worlds. Uh, I think he's sitting at 45 points right now. I hope he, you know, I hope he can make it. And that way, we, you know, we can both go out there and, you know, just uh, do well with worlds. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck. You're a great guy, great player. Hope to see you be national champion, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.